Hey, I'm back from vacation and only slightly sunburned. Just a little bit. I had a great time on vacation. We did a lot of cool stuff. Probably the coolest thing that we did was we went to the historic Comanche Drive-In Theater, which is on the National Registry of Historic Places. Uh, they've been there since the 50s, and it was the first drive-in movie I'd ever gone to see, and it was on my bucket list. And the feature they were playing that night was the Coen Brothers' Oh Brother Where Art Thou? And it was a good time. <laughs> and when you go to the drive-in, they usually give you a radio station to tune your radio to, so you can hear the movie. And if you put it on that station before the movie starts, they just had random movie and TV music playing. And one of the songs they had playing was a techno version of the theme to Jurassic Park. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. It is weird. But overall, it was a great experience, and I get to put another check mark on the bucket list. A lot of people ask me where I find my VHS tapes. And there are several different ways in which I find them. If I'm looking for something specific, a specific title, I know exactly what I want, then I'll go to eBay or Amazon and buy it that way. You're usually gonna spend a little more, sometimes 10 to $20 per tape, but there you're guaranteed you're gonna get the exact title that you want. Especially if you've been searching for something and can't find it. eBay and Amazon are probably the two best places to go. Another way to find VHS online is Facebook Marketplace. I've found a lot of VHS lots for sale and they're usually grouped together by category, horror, action, things like that. People are always trying to get rid of old VHS tapes. Another good place is Craigslist. It's, it's a little little sketchy, but uh, you can still find, find some deals on there, people looking to get rid of their VHS. The places that I find most of my VHS is secondhand stores. And there you can usually pick them up for dirt cheap. Sometimes as little as a quarter to 50 cents tape. And you never know what you're gonna find. So it's always exciting to go on the hunt for something that's unusual or has great cover art or is just a really fun title. And when you actually do find something that's rare and weird, it's, it's a good feeling. And while I was on vacation, I kept my eye out for any place that may have VHS tapes. And this little town in Colorado, by where we were staying, had a secondhand store. And we were, and we had some time to kill before dinner. So I was like, eh, I'll check it out. You never know. You never know. They may have some VHS. And lo and behold, they had a huge stack of them. Not just on its own uh, spinning shelf case, but uh, two full bookcases worth on the wall. And I found a couple good ones. One was a real gem. Now I could have come out of there with armloads of VHS, but I've been a lot more picky lately because I don't have a lot of shelf space left. I have to be a little choosy with what I pick. But I came, came out of the secondhand store with six titles and it cost me a grand total of $3.50. The first one that I picked up is Death Wish 2. Death Wish movies are, are always good ones to find. I mean, the box isn't anything to write home about, but the movies are definitely violent and cheesy and all sorts of good bad. You believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Well, you're gonna meet him. And whoever, ugh, and whoever had these videos for sale must have been a huge Charles Bronson fan because there were a lot of Charles Bronson. This one I've never heard of in my life. It's called Cold Sweat. This will be interesting to, to pop in the VCR and see what it's all about. 
but it's pretty much another death wish. Someone close to him gets killed or raped, one or the other usually, and he has to fight a bunch of drug dealers slash gang members. So, yeah. Cold sweat. Featuring Jill Ireland and Charles Bronson. Do you know the police are following us? In the last five minutes. Another title from Good Times Home Video. They got some real gems. The next title I came across was Body Parts. I remember watching this as a kid, but I have not watched it since and I can't remember a damn thing about it, except there's like an arm transplant thing and the limbs start going crazy. So yeah, this will be good to revisit. The transplant was a success. Then the donor came to take it back. <laughs> Jeff Fahey in Body Parts. Get the hell out of this office. Fuck you and all your bullshit! I want this fucking arm off! This one, I don't know why I grabbed it, just because it's silly, I guess. It's an actual two-pack, two movies on one video cassette. This says, uh, for promotional use only, not for rental or resale. So whoever put this in the secondhand store, you're in trouble. Cause it says right on the box, not for resale. But uh, the first movie on it is uh, Little Bigfoot. I saw one, a little one, a little Bigfoot. And the other side is Precious Find with Rutger Hauer and Joan Chen, two good uh, B-movie actors. And the tagline of Precious Find is, the universal color of greed is gold. So, check that one out. Look, I'm a prospector, I'm looking for work. I can smell Precious. You can smell Precious? I can smell Precious a light year away, guaranteed. The next tape I picked up is one of my favorite horror movies ever, it's The Club. And I can't believe that this secondhand store had this because not even three days prior, I ordered this exact tape off Amazon. <laughs> so it should be arriving shortly, but I couldn't believe that I'd been looking for this tape for so long and I finally gave up and ordered it and then I find it in a tiny town in Colorado. Just my luck. But so I picked up another one. You can never have too many copies of the club. You have to kill me first, if you can. Fucking A. I do. Well, where's mine? Fuck that shit! You don't get one! <laughs> you know something, sweetheart? You got personality. But no, I really like this film. Uh, God, when did it come out? 94, 1994. And it's a real shitty movie, but it's got some great humor and some cool ideas in it. And from what I remember, I'm pretty sure you see Kim Coates' ball sack at one point. Someone should take a picture of me and my hog and put it on the internet and just show all these geeks what they're missing. But yeah, check out the club. It's decent. And then I found a real gem in my search. I didn't think I would ever actually see this. It's not something that I had ever searched for, but it's gone the rounds on social media and Reddit, and a lot of people have done YouTube videos about it, and I just thought it'd be something cool to add to my collection. And since it was right in front of me for 50 cents, I figured I'd buy it. And that is Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. And I've watched this, and it's a huge pile of shit, but it's really a novelty purchase. The cover art's insane, and it's just so weird, I couldn't resist. For 50 cents, I couldn't resist. So, another quality release from Good Times Home Video. But yeah, it was really boring, and I had no idea what was happening. He's the one all right, almost tore my arm off. Jeans clean. A pussycat, almost. Hi, Curly. But it's Kiss, it's Phantom of the Park, so. So that was my VHS haul. Um, if you guys like this, I'll do some more whenever I pick up more VHS. As far as what I've got coming up, 
hoping to get some more reviews out. I've been a little lax on that lately because I haven't been out. I haven't been out to see anything. There's definitely going to be more VHS Spotlight coming your way. This is Lindsay signing off. Check you later.